First and foremost, you gotta cube the fattiest, nicest short ribs you can get. This mm. is all about fat and flavor here. That's right. Then what we do, we're gonna add diced onion mm. in a hot pan. We're gonna to add some- To the same some... pan you browned the, yeah. the, the to the diced... same pan you browned, because it's very important. The reason why I want them fatty because you don't need to add a lot of butter or oil to this dish. You, you gotta let it really cook out naturally, you, and yes. you want color equals flavor in cooking. So you Absolutely. want that beautiful crust. Then, and you get that from the fats in the meat. Once that is reduced and, and all the short ribs is rendered, you, Fresh use, day, you onion, use the, fa the, the fat mm -hmm. for cook the onion, mm -hmm. the garlic, and the bay leaf. Fresh bay or laurel, it, it keeps for weeks in your fridge, and you'll be surprised at how different it tastes from dried, uh, the Turkish dry bay leaves that most people have in their pantry, especially because we never clean out our pantries, and then bay leaves have been there since the late 80s, I'm sure. And, you know, bay leaf is one thing Fresh, that you can... delicious. It's delicious, but also... Very you know, floral, too. Yeah, very floral, and, and it is, it's extremely aromatic. You only really need a couple of leaf in a huge pot That's of salt. That's right, right. Then we're going to add some uh, sage, sage and basil. Yep. You know, I'm going to give it, like, a little rough chop. Just I love sage with beef and, and rosemary for nice, earthy, yeah. You know, short ribs, we have some Italian cheese. This is all about earthy, bold, yeah. in-your-face flavor. Mm. So now, here's the things, right? You gotta, we gotta let the onion cook. Right. I got the, I got the, I One's got them here. One's cooked down up here. One's right. cooked down up here. And now we're gonna add a good pinch of salt. A good I pinch like of a pepper. lot of salt, more salt for me. I, nothing wrong, <laughs> with, salt nothing wrong with salt. Then we're gonna add some tomato, tomato paste. paste. Between 300 and 325 degrees is gonna take in the oven probably anywhere between 215, two and a half, and three hours. All right? right. Once we have Depends that. Depends on how big you cube the meat. Right, but absolutely. You want it to cook down until it's fork tender. Yeah. If you touch it with a fork, it would fall apart. Absolutely. Okay. And then we have our bechamel. So bechamel is very easy. It's a mother sauce. It's a right. butter and flour butter base. Butter and flour to make your roux. Butter and flour base, you make the roux. And then what we do, we're gonna add. Uh, um, we're gonna add. Uh, nutmeg and warm milk. I have a lot of nutmeg inside. Me before. too. I love a lot of nutmeg. It's very traditional to the sauce too. Yeah. And you add the warm milk to the I roux, another, and it thickens up. Yeah, thickens up. I have another bay leaf there. Right. And then what we like to do, you know, we're Italian. We like to bring Italian tradition to the table. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, using like a lot of nutmeg, like I said in my in my uh, bechamel. But mm -hmm. I also like to use. This is a beautiful melting cheese, Montasio. Montasio is fantastic. For who the, actually, I work with the company to bring the culture of these cheeses in Italy and to the United States. And you can get them in the regular grocery store. Guys. Yes. Over near the Provolone, Fantina, and Fantina Valdosta, and yeah. the Parmigiano. Look for Montasio. It's just an easy melting cheese. Grana Padano here. I and love Grana Padano, too. It's Grana Padano is like the cousin of Parmigiano, but yeah. he's cheaper. He's and, a cheaper date. And then it's, all, it's also a more mellow flavor. It's That's less right. sharp, yeah. right? So then here's what we do. We got there, right? Right. Now we're going to put the cheese sauce on it. Back and forth and back and forth. Uh, if you're used to making uh, an Italian-American lasagna, that's the ricotta and meat sauce. A yeah. traditional lasagna is just the bechamel and yep. beef sauce or bolognese, or in this case, the short rib ragu. Meat, white sauce, meat, white sauce, meat, white sauce. No such thing as the ricotta in there. Different right. thing. Yeah, Beautiful. ricotta is very, it's the kind of Americanized version that's of the Italian-American. That's Italian-American. So now, here's the last layer. The last layer, I feel, is always the most important. Because mm. that's your presentation. It's right? your presentation, and then it's the one that goes in the oven and crisp with the cheese and everything else. Oh, you so, see, that's a, it's a triple decker. It's the meat and the cheese and more cheese on the top. And then, what you do, you just scoop it out. Yeah, you really want the stability so it'll set oh, yeah. back up when it's room temperature. And lasagna, all it is, it's a beautiful condominium of flavor. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's like, it's like a... The condominium it's like of condominium. It's, like, it's like a skyscraper of goodie <laughs> stuff. Look at this thing. I, I,